What's up guys? How the heck are you doing on this beautiful Friday morning? If you guys don't know, or if you are watching this in the future, today's video takes place on April 1st or April Fool's Day. So being a dad myself, I am a sucker for dad jokes and bad jokes at that. So um, oftentimes when I tell jokes that I think are funny in my house, they are often uh, bad dad jokes or sometimes inappropriate and they are always met with rolled eyes or sighs from my family so I think today is no exception I think we need to play a terrible dad April Fool's Day prank now I've been racking my brain trying to think of what is the perfect prank for me to play on my son and I'm gonna get him before the end of the day but the first one of the day is going to be on my wife and I'm going to involve my son so um, what we're gonna start out with is this stupid picture here. If you don't know who this fine fellow is, his name is Slash from the band Guns N' Roses. And uh, we are going to tell my wife that her tires have been slashed. So the setup is, she's actually in bed still sleeping. So the setup is going to be, I'm gonna print out this picture, tape it to her tires. I'm gonna have my son run in in a panic. I'm gonna tell him to be super panicked, tell her somebody slashed her tires. Uh, last night and she's gonna come out presumably pissed off and she's gonna come around and she's gonna look at her car tires to see this man with his shit eaten grin uh, taped her tires so we're gonna capture it all on the GoPro but um let's see how this goes it's gonna be interesting all right Emery do you know who this is no not at all this guy's name is Slash Right there. He's in an 80s band. This is Slash. Your mom knows who this is. Yeah. So what we're going to do, okay, is I'm going to print the picture of this guy out. We're going to tape it to our car tires on this side of the car. Okay? We're going to go outside. We're going to set the GoPro up to record outside. You're going to run inside and try to wake her up. Don't make her mad, but tell her she's got to come look. Somebody slashed her tires. And when she comes out, she's going to see this guy taped to her car. I think it'd be good, right? Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. It's, it's, you think it's good? Yeah. Okay. She woke up as we were printing these out, so we're going to have to be super, super freaking stealthy about this. I've got the cutout, so let's go do this. Okay, so the GoPro died. So we're just going to use this camera. I'm going to set it up over here on the shelf and get all of this action. You can see these stupid pictures taped on her tires, so... I'm gonna set this here. Hopefully she doesn't see this camera as she first comes out. It'd be super stupid. We'll see. Flip the screen down. Hidden camera. Okay. All right, Emery. I need you to go in and give your best. I need you to go in and give your best okay. acting performance. But mom, somebody slashed your tires last night. Go get her. I'm going to pretend to drag the trash can up. You need to act like it's an emergency. Let's see how this goes. Be right back. Hopefully the camera doesn't die. Tony, who did you piss off? What? So who did you piss off? That's a big hole. Huh? That's a big hole in that. What made that? Well, somebody came up here and slashed your tires. <laughs> April Fools. April Fools. April Fools. I was like, how is that? <laughs> <laughs> April Fools. And you're on camera. What? 
don't even know if it got you. It's Probably not. not. You were scared. We were, we were, yeah, we were supposed to prank Emery, not me. I'll admit that that was kind of cheesy, um, but it was a pretty harmless prank, and it was something that Emery could easily enjoy. I'm talking quietly because, let me get away from the TV, it's putting a flicker on my face. Predator. Me? We're going now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set something up to get Emery with a prank. So I'm taking the camera and I'll talk about it when we get out there where he can't hear me. All right, so we have decided to prank Emery like I was talking about in the studio before we left. And so what we've decided to do is Tawny's actually recording point over here. Let me no adjust idea. this. No, you're pointing the right. So this is Pelicans. Okay, you can point back at me. I just have to adjust this for exposure. So this is Pelicans. This is one of Emery's favorite shaved ice cream places. And um, they sell a lot of really nasty and gnarly flavors here. So what we're gonna do is we told him we're gonna go get him a drink from Sonic, which is his favorite drink, which is grape slushy with nerd candy, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a nasty flavor from here, exchange it out in his Sonic cup, and uh, I guess that's gonna be his April Fool's Day prank. Emery's can sometimes get pretty pissed. So it's gonna be funny to see what his reaction is. I'm kinda of actually scared if he tries to swing at us. What if he actually really likes the he's, nasty he's, flavor? He's really, he is really dramatic. He is really dramatic. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna get the nastiest flavor we possibly can. Um, and then we're gonna go and do that and do the, the swap. And then we're gonna record Emery drinking something nasty, so. So, our choices are gonna be we need to have just a section of nasty. Fireball, dill pickle. Dill pickle, and you said there's toothpaste? Yeah, toothpaste. Right here? Toothpaste. I think we need to do toothpaste. Ask them if they can mix we the two. Spearmint too. Let's ask them if they can mix toothpaste and dill pickle. Like, I'm gonna tell them we're doing an uh, April Fool's Day prank on our kid. I'm just gonna ask them what the nastiest flavor they have is. Mm. Hey, uh, so we're trying to like prank our son. What's the nastiest flavor you got? Uh, okay. <laughs> or it'd be like a combination. I can do a combination and make it really nasty. Like the tooth, like the toothpaste, and like the dill pickle, or. I think pickle pop would make it worse than the dill pickle. Okay, that'd be great. Can okay, we get one of those? Toothpaste? Yeah. What size? Uh, let's just do the, what size do we need to fill the just, other cup? Just a, a kitty. You know? Yeah, we'll just do the kitty. Yeah. Crazy. Three dollars. He deserves an Oscar for that performance. I heard him, I heard him yelling. I heard him. Yeah, if he likes this, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're Thank you. Oh, you can smell it. It smells very pickly. Okay, so. If for some reason the microphone cut out when we were up there we were looking on the menu and they have toothpaste flavor and they have dill pickle flavor and some other ones but we asked them what the nastiest flavor was that they could make and the girl at the place said this right here which is pickle pop right and i think she mixed toothpaste in with it so we're gonna go exchange this out for his other drink um i think we need to probably taste this though just to see how bad it is Go for it. I want you to taste it. I got coffee in my mouth. So do I. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty freaking gross. That's pretty <laughs> gross. Like you think at first it's gonna be good because of the pickle. That's pretty nasty because of the actual. Emery. We gotta play it cool, hang on. Okay. We gotta go to we gotta go Sonic and get your drink and then we'll be home. Okay. Love you. All right, I love you. Makes me feel guilty right now. Okay, so we're at Sonic. We put Emery's nasty drink down in the Starbucks cup because it was leaking all over the place. And we're gonna order his drink. We ordered two cups. One is gonna be empty. And one's gonna have his drink in it. And then we are going to mix some of his drink. Spill all the juice out. I know. I'm like shaking it. 
with uh, some of this in there and then tell him it's his drink and make him drink it and see what his reaction is. I feel like all this is gonna backfire on me because I'm like the common denominator to all of these, all of these things happening. But I already know you're probably already plotting on me. I actually haven't. Okay. Not, you're not what? I'm not creative. If Emery think if this doesn't go over well, he's gonna get it again with something else. So, all right. So we just left Sonic, and this is his drink, like his good drink. It's purple. It's grape slushy with Nerds candy. And then we've got this empty cup as well here that we're gonna put some of this nasty stuff in. Uh, and then we're gonna put some of the Nerds candy drink on top and we're gonna act like this is his drink and see what he does. So, do you wanna, yeah, it smells terrible. Do you wanna do this while I get gas or? Yeah. Okay. All right, well on the plus side, I think gas went down because it only costs $59.28 to fill it up instead of it cutting me off at $60 and not giving me a full tank. Okay, so Tawny mixed these two drinks. Uh, like I said, the bad drink with a little bit of grape on top. It's the one with the button pushed down. And uh, he has like some actual good drink, I guess, as a chaser. So I was telling Tawny, I'm way more excited about this than I should be because we're probably gonna get little to no reaction, but <laughs> it's about those small wins as a parent. So days like today, you can get revenge on your kid. And he definitely deserves it. All right, so I gotta figure out how to film this without him knowing. So I'm just gonna act like I'm messing with my camera. And then as he's doing it, I'm just gonna pull the camera up. Maybe you should just tell him to bring Simon out. You wanna run in there and tell him his tires got slashed? Here, taste this and see if they put Nerds candy in there. I'm not sure if they did. Why just open them? Yeah, they put Nerds in there. They did? Oh, we'll take it. Probably just the nerds. Yeah. Color because it took forever. Because we had to go get gas afterwards. That's pickle. <laughs> what do you mean it's pickle? What do you mean it's pickle? What do you mean it's pickle? Not pickle. What do you mean it's pickle? It's pickle. It's grape. It's nerds candy. Where'd he go? Behind the car. What are you doing, you nerd? <laughs> well, get off the windshield wiper. That's not gonna help you out. What? What do you mean it tastes horrible? It tastes horrible. Why? It's green. It's green? It's dill pickle. It's watermelon. It's yeah. dill pickle. It's dill pickle. Henry's always so underwhelming <laughs> with it's everything. Dill pickle. Happy April Fool's Day. You know how much time went into that? You know how much to... money that cost? <laughs> All that work and effort for him just to be like, eh. Mm. It's a dill pickle. <laughs> mm. I could mm. tell something fish was going on. How? I could tell. How could you tell? I just could tell. Cause I know you guys said that you were going to prank me earlier. No, we didn't. I heard mom over talking yet. The day's not over. You heard him, he heard you over talking it. So, yeah. So now we're gonna take Simon for a walk, and uh, go slash my mom's tires. Yeah, we're gonna go do the same slash joke to my mother-in-law and see how that goes over. She'll be pissed. And if she'll in, start and if anybody else, if anybody else wants to mess with us, they're gonna get their tires slashed too, <laughs> because we know how to beat a dead horse here at the Henderson household. All right, so yesterday when we went to go get groceries, we ordered some eggs and we ended up not realizing that we left our dozen eggs in the car. So they're probably not good since they sat overnight. So we're out walking Simon and uh, we're just throwing these eggs at stuff. It's just, which tree, that tree? I feel like there's something better we can do with them. You're gonna hit that rock? What should I do with it? You ready? Can you you can roll it, right? You don't have to just let it go. You ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Uh, 
Wait, who's busted first? But mine went farther. Wait, wait. It's going straight to the camera. Oh, you won. And so Emery says, if I bite into one of these rotten eggs that we've been throwing out here, he'll unload and load the dishwasher the next two times. Uh, it's a shame what you have to do to get your kid to do chores. Of course, Tawny thinks it's worth it because she just gets to enjoy both sides. What do you think the likelihood of this being like salmonella filled? I didn't know you were going to chew it. Oh my God. I didn't know Two you times. Chew it. <laughs> you want me to go further, Emery? <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. That's pretty gross though. I feel like that was actually that's actually not that bad now. It kinda tastes like it looks like somebody threw up. I, I never specified. Ugh. I never specified Sorry, no, what day I would do the, the, the You hear him already trying also, to cheat me? Yep. You're like a Wall Street person. What day I'll do it. Is your last name Rothstein? No. It has like the aftertaste, obviously, of just egg, but it's really weird feeling like the thing crunch in your mouth. <laughs> I could be uh, so I could be a bird of prey. See me squatted in front of the refrigerator just eating eggs. It's like all the bodybuilder guys are they're just eating the yolks. I eat the shell. Yeah, it's where all the nutrients are. Now and now it's like. I have a strange addiction and I'm only gonna wanna eat eggs that way. The things you do to make Emory do his chores. It's worth it. All right, so we're back in the studio now and I've gotta get something to drink. We had to come by the house before we go try to prank my mother-in-law uh, with the stupid slash picture. Like I said, we just beating that dead horse. But uh, the initial bite into the egg wasn't terrible. It just tasted like egg yolk. But now the aftertaste, that's the disgusting part. And uh, Emery's already trying to get out of his end of the bargain by saying, I didn't say when I would do the dishes. I just said I would do them. So <sighs> that kid always try to get you on a technicality. Whew, it has gotten freaking cold out there. I wish this weather would just make up its mind whether it wants to stay hot, whether it wants to stay cold, windy, rainy, uh, sunny spring weather. I don't know. Like it needs to do something, but I wish it would stop. So, if you noticed, we didn't have any footage from my mother-in-law's house where we were going to do the slashed tire prank. She didn't fall for it. So we rolled up in the driveway, my son hopped out of the car, he ran and he slapped the slash uh, stickers or papers or pictures on her tires and my wife went inside and was like, hey, somebody just slashed your tires or somebody slashed your tires, come out here and look. And she was like, what are you talking about? I was literally just driving my car a few minutes ago. And uh, so yeah, she didn't fall for it at all, but it was still funny to try. Um, she thought the joke was funny, she just didn't fall for it. So pranking my wife, she kind of fell for it. Uh, my son, he fell for his, so it was a good time. I think that was a two for two for me and uh, good harmless pranks that I'm already planning my next April Fool's Day prank on my son. It's gonna be a big one. And I think maybe throughout this channel, you'll see me just pranking him more often in the vlogs because it's pretty hilarious to me. Plus he's 11, so I think he kind of appreciates it in a way. Um, but beyond that, this was sort of just a day in the life of my family type of vlog. This is sort of just the stuff we do on a normal basis. And uh, it was a good time. And I'm glad I could take you guys along with us and show you a little bit of the people that are close to me, a little bit of my personality with my family, and not always having to have an overarching theme of photography or filmmaking, more or less just hanging out. So, this is where I wanna end this vlog, and I wanna talk about our ending call out, I guess, or our ending, uh, whatever you call it. And I've been saying onwards and upwards, but that's kinda of cheesy. I don't know if I really like it, and I don't know why I started saying it. Um, but if you guys like it, let's continue um, because I don't hate it. I just don't know if it's makes sense or if it's right for the channel. Um, what do you guys think? Drop the comments down below. Um, I think maybe we should just end the videos and say, uh, yeah, that's it for this one guys and I'll see you tomorrow.
time to feed the baby bird. <laughs>